good morning children <clears throat> hope you are all doing good and having a good time i believe you remember the last class where what we have studied in history it was role of women in revolutions we have seen um, the personality of olin the goat as well now today we are going to learn or to know more about another topic which is abolition of slavery i believe that you understand what is slavery it is making a person work against his own will under another person or uh, people another group of people so slavery was established all around the world during the 18th century 17th and 18th century when we come to our topic which is abolition of slavery in france what we have to understand is uh, before the french revolution 18 1789 france had a major three colonies in the caribbean one is martinique another is guadeloupe and third is san domingo at present it is known as saint martin Martinique is known as Saint Martin as well. Guadeloupe is known as Guadeloupe itself. San San Domingo is known as Santo Domingo or San Domingo uh, Santo Domingo at the moment. Santo Domingo is a capital city as well as the country. Uh, San Domingo at the moment is divided into two countries, which one is Haiti and another is San Domingo. Haiti you might have heard many a time because of the earthquake and the, some footballers. came in india to play as well so anyway these were the three major colonies france had in the caribbean islands caribbean islands are few islands west to the indies mountain range that's why these islands together is known as west indies whoever are familiar with cricket they know that west indies as a team there is no country called west indies it is a um, union of so many small islands which includes all these caribbean countries <clears throat> anyway france had three major colonies in the caribbean martinique guadeloupe and san domingo these colonies these small islands was um, were mainly of uh, plantations so this supplied france with uh, sugar coffee indigo tobacco etc remember when the industrial revolution happened and the imperialism started every country was looking for more resources to improve their economic situation so imperialism the colonization mainly was for getting more and more natural resources or resources for the development of the country so france gained sugar coffee indigo and tobacco from these three major colonies in the caribbean but there they faced a problem these small nations had a very limited population at that time so there weren't enough people to walk in the field on the, in the plantations and uh, finding workers from europe was also difficult because people didn't want to go in a far away land which is not uh, which is not familiar to them as well as the living condition is not over there is not uh, suitable so france found it very difficult to find sufficient workforce in the plantations this was one of the reason for the slave trade what happened uh, in europe mainly there was a triangular slave trade that is uh, plantation owners will go to africa and then bu- they buy colored people the term used in your text is negro but you cannot use it as it, as it is considered as an offensive word so now we generally term the mas colored people it is the natives of africa uh so they buy the colored people from chief tains or the head of a 
villages in Africa. And then they would go to the Americas, the, the Caribbean islands and engage them, either engage them in plantation to work or sell them to the plantation owners who are making a slave trade, they will sell it to the plantation owners as workers. In return, the plantation owners will pay money to them for sure and the plantation owners will get enough workforce uh, in the islands. So this was a triangular slave trade from Europe to Africa to America. Then the producers like sugar, coffee, tobacco, indigo return back to Europe. So it was a triangle. You probably start from Europe, Africa, then Caribbeans back to Europe. So this was a triangle trade happened in uh, slave trade happened in America during the 17th and 18th century. It began in 17th century and continued till uh, 18th century. This also increased the importance of port cities. You know what is port cities? The cities which have got, has got a port which is um, near to the sea and there is a port for the naval, naval ships to dock. So this triangular slave trade actually um, made the port cities flourish economically. There was so much trade happening, there was, the slave trade was so intense and immense. Port cities became richer and richer because of this slave trade. In France, the major two port cities what were, which were used for slave trade was Nantes and Bordeaux. Check the spelling. Nantes is okay. N-A-N-T-E-S. Nantes. Bordeaux is written as B-O-R-D-E-A-U-X. So B-O-R-D-E-A-U-X is pronounced as Bordeaux. Bordeaux is famous for its wines and um, um, and grape yard, yeah, etc. So port cities like Bordeaux and Nantes flourished economically because of the slave trade. 